Hi boys and girls, I'm Ranger Kirk and you've made it to Cromwell Valley Park for first of our series for the summer. It's called Tremendous Trees. Why are trees important to us? Well, there's so many reasons. One is, uh, think of the things that uh, we make from wood, right? But more importantly, think about the things that trees give us. They give us oxygen, they give us food in the shape of berries and nuts and fruits. They give us the wood that helps us build our house. My favorite is that they produce green leaves that give us what? Wonderful shade on a hot summer's day. So trees are really an important uh, living thing on this planet. And, we, and you're here to discover some of those things and some of the things that you can do with trees. Here's one thing you can do. This is our friend, the tulip poplar tree. Wow, wouldn't it be cool? to use a leaf. What can you use a leaf for? You want to select a nice big leaf and then what you want to do is, and you can either pinch it off like this, so you have the what's called the the petiole, and we're gonna make a leaf cup. And you can do this too after you watch this at home. Come out to Cromwell Valley, discover where a tulip tree is, or you can ask me. We'll be around and we'll make a leaf cup. So we're gonna take our leaves and we're gonna fold these guys. Just concentrate on that. So see what I did? Let's do it again. These are the lobes of the leaf. So we're gonna take one, lay it over top, and hold on to it like this. We're gonna take this guy, put it oh, right about here. And look at that leaf. And then you take your petiole, you sort of carefully, and mommy and dad can help, stick the See how it's penetrated the leaf? Right there where my thumb is. I'm gonna hold it. I'm gonna to have to fold this back again. And then I'm going to poke a, a hole on the other side. Look at that. Now we have a leaf cup. That is some kind of neat. And you can put all kinds of things in here. I think we should go look for some berries, don't you? Let's go take a look. So we have our leaf cup we made from the tulip tree. You remember that. And now we've gone to the edge of the forest. And you know why we've gone to the edge? Because right here at Cromwell Valley, almost all these edges have berries. And guess what? We're at the ripe time of year to pick some. Now, a lot of people may say, how do you know it's not poison berries, Ranger Kirk? Well, it's pretty easy to tell here. Look at these guys. Wowie dowie. You know what this is? This is called black raspberry. That's a native bush that grows here in the park. And we're gonna pick some of those and, and look at the vine, not the vine really, the canes, are kind of purple black. A little bit tricky though, because when they're young vines, look at these. Ah, they're kind of this color. Now watch them change color. Ooh, that tells you you got black raspberry. Do they have spines? They do, they have some thorns, but they're not too bad. So let's pick some, we'll put them in our leaf cup. Look at that, and that's how you know they're ripe. But you know what you do with ripe berries? You you eat them. Mm -mm. We encourage anybody if they wanna come and pick berries in the park, come and do so, you're welcome to do that. We have blackberries, we have raspberries, and we have wine berries. Let's take a look at a wine berry bush. All these fruiting bushes fruit at different times. So the black raspberry is like one of the earliest. And then these are gonna be in the next two weeks. So from July 4th on, these are gonna pop open. Now inside of these are gonna be a delicious, wonderful reddish pink fruit called wineberry. And how do you know you have it? The canes are tickly with those hairs and prickly. So tickly and prickly. That's the way to do it and full of fuzz. And you remember, 
the nature center is going to be open so you can come and ask the naturalist if you're not sure you could even you know bring a little sample with you that's all you need to do that's the cool thing and you know what if you have a leaf cup which you should also don't do on a hot summer day if the trees have of course here they are providing us some shade it is look ah look at it in there <laughs> And then what do you do? Ah, tremendous trees. Look at all the fun you can have here at Cromwell Valley Park. Come out and do it. Come out and learn with us. Let's try something else. Well, boys and girls, we've been in a lot of different situations today. We made a leaf cup. We collected berries, I drank water out of it. Uh, look at all the cool things that trees do for us. They give us shade, they give us shelter. Speaking of shelter, this blue spruce behind me provides a lot of shelter for wildlife. It's so thick. Many birds nest in that thing. Uh, I've, morning doves are one of the birds that likes to be inside. And then we have our friend, the brown thrasher, which is a really cool bird. And I've seen them sail in here too. So I know they use it a lot. But one other thing I like about trees, besides giving us food and shelter and oxygen and shade, one of my favorite out in the sunny field, guess what it is? I'd like to know, how tall is this tree? How do you figure that out? Well, you're going to need some special equipment at home. Very specialized. Most of us have a pencil. <laughs> so you need to bring a pencil with you. And then mom and dad are at home. You could even use, I suppose, a measuring tape. You could just bring that if you wanted to. You know, bring it in your backpack when you're out here for your hike. Or measure a stick at home. I just so happened to have a six-foot stick right here. Look at that. I got it measured off. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, I put mine in the ground, whereas you could have your mom or your dad or your friend hold the stick next to the tree. And that's what you need to do. We have to have something of a known height against the tree that we'd like to find out how tall it is. Then we need a pencil. Let's walk away from it a little bit. All right, now that we're back from the tree a little ways, I'm going, there's my pencil, there's my thumb. I'm gonna make this eraser about the same size as that stick. Okay, so we're gonna go one, so we know that's right about there. So when we come up, we gotta put it about where the top of the eraser was, so that's where my thumb is, so. Where's one, right about there. There is two, and looks like right there. Just about three. So what's three times six? What's three times six? Uh, 12, okay. 18 feet. So that tree is approximately 18 feet. Look how easy that was to find out. And you can use that method with even that big green tree behind that tree. That's pretty doggone neat, I think. Look at all the things you can learn about trees. And you come here just after watching this little tape. Let's go and do one last thing. Should be some fun. Well, we've come to another activity area. We're on the edge of the woods, in this case. And I have some beautiful trees behind me. Um, this activity is we're, we're going to go and we're going to make a leaf print. And it can be kind of a neat souvenir of the tree that you were visiting back out here in the woods. So looking up, we can see all kinds of cool stuff. I'm going to go over to this branch. Look at there. Look at those. You know what that is? That is our friend, the walnut tree. And how many leaves do you see? Well, I'm kind of fooling you, but I'm going to pull this one off, it can spare it. How many leaves are there? You may be going, oh, Ranger Kirk, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Nope. It's one. This is what's called a compound leaf, as opposed to a simple leaf, which is, this is not a tree, but I can show you that that's one leaf. Compound leaf, simple leaf. Compound, simple. There you go. So how do we get, and by the way, we could use these leaves too, but since we're talking about trees, we're going to make a leaf rubbing. What you'll need is a piece of paper to bring with you. It could be a piece of cardboard if you have that. You can use our park tables in the park as well. And uh, we're going to use the back end of the, uh, the Ranger Jeep here 
I'm going to lay this down like this. I'm going to put that on my cardboard and watch the leaf magically appear now that we know it's a walnut tree. Hang on, here it is. Here it comes. The harder you press, the more detail you get. Look at that. You see the rachis? That's the rachis. And here, and then there's the, look at that. There's the petiole. And then, look at that. And then you could take it and you can say, that is our friend, the black wall nut. How about that? And you could put down the date that you were here. 6, 25, 20. And you were at CVP. That's pretty neat. Look at that. Let's make it another one. Or another piece of paper. Let's make it a different color, shall we? I think we should. So we'll lay that here. We're going to take this pink one. So there's our walnut that goes with that guy. Let's grab a mulberry leaf. I like that idea. There's one. Taking one leaf from a tree is not going to hurt when it has several tens of thousands on it. Really different looking, isn't it? Look at the teeth that it has. Look at those teeth. Look at the veins. I'll turn it around. Ooh, a beautiful thing, really. These are friends, like little solar panels that collect sunlight. So let's put this one on. Okay, and we'll try it again. Just lay it down and press real hard. See how I'm holding the, the uh, crown? Actually, that color is not real bright, is it? I thought it would be brighter. You can see it, but it's not real apparent. So let's go with the green again. See if that shows it up better. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. Yeah, mulberry leaf. Mulberries are cool because later on this season they're going to provide us with they're going to mulberry. They're going to provide us with berries to eat. How about that mulberry leaf? So, boys and girls, at the end of this first segment called "Tremendous Trees," remember that you can, your, well, at least your parents or you, at the beginning of the segment, if you look carefully, you will see our activity guides or sheets that can be downloaded. Um, the one is on the leaf and bark rubbing, which we just did. We have the leaf cup that I made earlier, the leaf guide, and for the littlest kids in your family, a sheet that says my leaf. You'll sort of make the leaf your, your own, your very own. How big is it? You know, is my leaf this or is my leaf that? That's what that's all about. So that's a load of fun for the littlest of the kids watching this. But I hope you had some fun. I sure did. And we're, we have more series to come.